everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be the beginning of this very much awaited reading vlog. I'm finally going to be reading The Name of the Wind, which this book has been on my shelf for about four years now. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this one. This is like an adult fantasy that literally everyone knows. And the only reason it took me four years to get around to reading it is that the third book has never been published. And... <laughs> might not be published, I feel like, at this point. But I have the first two books in this trilogy on my shelves, and I also have the novella. And even though I hate waiting for the next book in a series, I'm caving in 2020. We've already established a lot of crap has been happening, so I've been focusing on books that I think I will give five stars to. That was my uh, 20 books I want to read in 2020. I'll list that down below if you're interested. But yes, this was in there with uh, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. And since I read that, I finished that last month. You know, I need to read all the must read. So we're doing it this month, this week. I'm giving myself a week to read it. I'm super excited. I literally know nothing about this except that um, there is a magical school setting, which my jam, I will read pretty much any book that has that trope. And uh, I have heard, the main complaint that I've heard was that the main character was a little bit of a like Mary Sue, like I'm very smart and you get the idea. And that the book is basically the uh, the narrator, the main character, uh, telling a story through uh, three different days and then each book is a different day. That's all I know. So like, that's not a lot, I feel like. I feel like I know nothing else at all and I'm very, very excited. I feel like I will enjoy this even though some people have been <laughs> mentioning in the comments that there's a chance I might not or that I might have more issues with the second one. I don't know. At this point, I'm just very excited. I feel like I will give this five stars too. Obviously, probably should go into it with lower expectations, but it's kind of hard because this is on so many lists of like best book I've ever read. So maybe will be my case too. <laughs> Hopefully I can manage to read this book in one week. There's like 661 pages. So before my slump, before the pandemic really, uh, I used to read about 100 pages a day. So this should be doable. And the slump, seem to have disappeared. <laughs> Should not say that out loud. So I'm very hopeful. Let's do this. So we are morning of day one Saturday and I wanted to update you on my reading because I woke up really early for no reason and I started reading thinking oh, I'll just read you know a chapter or two just to get in the mood and here I am 60 pages into it. I'm at page 65 chapter 9. I just couldn't put it down which is a really good sign. Uh, not so great for me because I'm supposed to be working today which is why I finally got ready. Uh, but so far so good. Uh, I'm really sucked into story. I could easily imagine myself reading the whole book, you know, in a weekend if I didn't have to actually do stuff. So it's bittersweet, but I mean, I'm overall very happy so far. But I also wanted to update you because I forgot to mention that I'm listening to this one as an audiobook. If you don't remember, or <laughs> right there. In February, I did a challenge where I was picking up in this jar actually behind me, uh, a shelf number, and my shelves are divided by genre. Like for example, this is sci-fi, and one of those week was a sci-fi one, which I started Leviathan Weeks. I've been really excited to read this because everyone raves about the series slash, there were what, like eight books and there's a TV show. So I wanted to read this, and um, this was part of my pile of shame, didn't finish it, you know, after starting in February. So I've been listening to that one as an audiobook, and while I was getting ready, I got this quote. The moon itself, Phoebe, filled the frame, turning slowly to show all sides like a prostitute as a cheap brothel. <laughs> I can't even read it without laughing. What were they thinking? Like, what the... F <laughs> Which, honestly... I had to press pause, get up, find it in the book to put a post-it because I was so annoyed. <laughs> like, I feel like in some books, like even this one, you'll have like little subtle things that you're like, Ugh, you know, it's a little sexist, but you know, it's the world, the character, whatever, you know? It's just not super obvious, it's just there, but you're like, whatever. But then you get these ones, <laughs> where it's just so obvious and pointless that you're like questioning your Saturday. I'm like, why is this in the book? Why did the author choose to write that? And then an editor read it and was like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. It just annoys me so much. So yeah, you'll probably hear me complain about it in my wrap up at the end of the month. But I just wanted to mention that I'm listening to that one also because I, you know, do both always physical and audiobook. So um, yes, this is my <laughs> first update. Things are going well for this one. I'm very excited. I wish I had nothing else to do but read this all day. But uh, I can easily imagine myself finishing this this week. I have literally no doubt it will happen. If I'm able to read like early in the morning, 60 pages, in a 600 page book yeah yeah happening for sure so yes i'll keep you updated but 
so far so good so it's early on Sunday morning and I wanted to update you because I woke up first thing I did started reading I haven't done that in so long and it's such a nice feeling um, I'm at chapter 18 <laughs> there that's where I'm at so page 123 um, things are definitely picking up he's finally telling a story and yeah I'm just really invested already sadly I do have to film for both of my channels you know we're Sunday so I'm gonna sadly have to put this book down and start doing some of that but as soon as I'm done what am I doing I'm continuing so I'll keep you updated we are Tuesday night uh, today was just <laughs> one of those days so I am making some bur I'm gonna be eating them then I'm already you know in my sweatpants and my big sweater because even though we're still in August, it is literally 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, <laughs> not gonna work for me tonight. So I decided I'm just gonna be reading as much as possible tonight. I am about 180 pages, I think, into the book. So I did continue to make some progress, but uh, I want to try and finish the book in a week. So I do want to read at least, and I mean at least 100 pages. So before I, you know, crack and start watching Netflix. So, <laughs> those are the plans for tonight. With one hand, it's impossible, but. Okay, um, great lighting. <laughs> I should go to bed. It's like almost 11. But um, I got sidetracked as always and I only read uh, till page 272, so chapter 41. I'm really loving this. Like, really loving this. Uh, he's finally, you know, to the school, magical school. Obviously, I'm like one of my favorite throat. Um, I feel like I didn't hear a lot, like I mentioned earlier, about the book but I had heard that some people didn't like the main character because of a little like I am very smart and a little cocky and everything and I get that but so far it's not too bad so I'm enjoying it you know a little bit of it because you know in the school stuff happens obviously spoiler free um, but I am considering just going and brushing my teeth and continuing to read which I will regret tomorrow morning but most likely will do <laughs> because I got distracted worked out and everything so yeah, I only read, what, like 100 pages? That's not a lot. So, yeah. You'll probably see me... <laughs> with the face of regrets, you know? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Wanted to update you before I fall asleep because it's gonna happen. We're... Wednesday. Thursday. Night. Um, and once again, I'm staying late up. I'm at page 408, chapter 61. So far, still enjoying this. But I didn't want to say that now I understand why people were saying that uh, the main character was very, like, I'm very smart and all of that. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, though, because I feel like it might just be through the narration that he is saying that he used to be like that, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm okay with it. I... I'm so happy to be in a magical school setting. I don't have anything bad to say, to be honest. I'm really intrigued. I've been binge reading this, which I haven't done that in so long. I am hoping that the second half of the book is going to be just as good because I will pick up the next book. When is the last time I did this? Seriously. So... Okay, so we are Friday night and I wanted to update you today is the last day for me to finish this if I want to finish it in one week, which I think I will be able to because I'm at page 506, so it's chapter 72, um, things are going well, but I have 160 pages left to read, whoops, <laughs> okay, this is not working out, I have 160 pages left-ish to read. So I can totally do that tonight because, I mean, Friday night, but during quarantine, what else do I have to do? Nothing. So I shall read the rest of uh, this book tonight. They're announcing Thunderstorm too, but so far it's still kind of sunny. So I don't know. I'll keep you updated on that too. 
but my thoughts so far i love the school setting i love the magic i don't even really mind the character i understand again like i mentioned uh why people would have issues with it i feel like so far since he's young i'm fine with it although i feel like sometimes he's talking to some people and i'm like why are they scared of him he's 15 like <laughs> if they don't know that he has magic um but at 507 i feel like things are looking like he's going out of the school to do other stuff i'm gonna keep things as spoiler free as possible i'll mention it if i do want to mention a spoiler but um he's like going like on a tangent like a different adventure and i'm like no stay in school i don't care about anything else like just stay in cool school that's what i want to read about so i'm hoping that won't last too long because i would get bored very easily with that um and yeah i don't really care so far for the love interest which i have been warned about apparently it's worse in the second book which we'll see uh but so far i'm very very excited um i am enjoying the book a lot and yeah let's see what happens in the last 150 pages Um, what? Like, what? Page 612? What? I'm not okay with this. I'm really, really not okay with this. Um, I'm gonna be putting my first post-it. We're keeping this spoiler free until the end. I'll include a spoiler, uh, little review at the end, but like, this is needed. So, what the actual I should have kept going because literally <laughs> the next page answers that question still needed to share my impression because uh another one 639 I have officially finished the name of the wind um finished on a high note um, I have a lot of feelings, but let's start by doing this because I think this needs to be done. This is book two. And you know where book two is going? Oh, I have too much stuff here. Right there, which is my TBR. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's start by the spoiler free review and then I'll mention the ending. I'll mention the spoiler before. Um, I think I'm giving it... I feel like it always takes me a few days, but like, first impression, I think I'm giving it 4.25. Um, I love the school, the magic system, that part, I'm great, I'm definitely into it, clearly. I mentioned how it was going on a tangent, it seemed like. Didn't really care for that part, and especially the love interest, I'm not into it whatsoever. Uh, not surprising. <laughs> I'm very much intrigued to see where this is going. And yeah, I overall really enjoyed it. I see why some people were complaining about it, but I'm still very much curious to continue <laughs> at least the second book because who knows when the third one will come. But yes, uh, thumbs up. I'm enjoying this. Now, spoiler. For a minute, I really got scared when he <laughs> I thought he was going to get kicked out of university because I've been saying how... The magic school is literally the reason I'm reading this. And I was like, well, this is it. I am done reading this then. But no, literally the next page it's explained. And also, no more magic? Really? Really? I'm hoping with that ending that it will come back to him because... Oh, and by the way, I did also finish... Um, I was saying I was reading uh, Levi 10 Weeks and... I don't really... I, I... <laughs> Like, it, it was obviously not just the sexism that was my issues, that was just like, you know, I've been calling it a little spice. Uh, it wasn't like that obvious throughout the whole book, it was just especially that quote that was really, really bad. But um, I just really didn't care about the whole mystery. Like, in the beginning I did, well, not in the beginning, about like 50%, it started really like getting better. And then I just didn't really care where it was going. I think I'm going to be watching the TV show just to see if I love that. Then I'll read the second book and see if it, you know, gets better for me. And if I don't really care for a TV show, then I'll just, you know, unhaul the books that I have on my shelf. Because I have book one, three, and four. I don't have number two because I buy most of my books at library sales because they're very cheap. 
but sometimes, you know, you miss out on a couple books that way. So I think I did pretty good for this um, reading vlog. I did manage to read a whole book, a physical book, in one week, a book I had been looking forward to reading. And even though I did not give it five stars, because that, that's what I was hoping for, I think 4.25 is still really good. I'm not sure. I probably should be rounding it down on Goodreads, but I'm gonna give myself a few days to decide. And I feel like I probably shouldn't say that, but like, let's be real. I feel like sometimes whenever you read the second book, it gives you some perspective about your issues about the first one, so maybe my <laughs> reading would change. That is terrible to say out loud. But like, for example, if I find that like the character is still insufferable in book two, then I would realize that this was like not on purpose and it would affect my rating. I think I would still give it four stars though. Well, I would just round it down. But if I feel like it's explained better in book two, then maybe I would round it up on Goodreads just for fun. Maybe it would be a 4.5 and then become, you know what I mean? So, uh, so happy I finally read it. Uh, I will read book two probably next month. I do have a few books that I need to get to beforehand, a few arcs, because new books are coming out. So many books are coming out uh, this fall. I'm very excited for them. Home Before Dark is already out, but there is um, The Invisible Life of Eddie Larue, for example, that I'm really looking forward to, and it's coming out September or October, and there's a bunch of other ones towards the end of September, which I don't necessarily have arcs for, but I'm looking forward to reading. So. I have a lot of reading to do before I get to that one, but before the end of the year for sure I will be reading it and then I will suffer like everyone else unless I hate it and then I wouldn't suffer. So like, I don't know, do I want to love it or hate it? <laughs> That's going to be it for today's video. I'm going to be putting more uh, videos on the screen that are going to need to check out. Definitely thumbs up, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future videos. Whew, it's late and I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.